What's going on guys? Alan here from the Mash Brothers. Thank you for checking out another video. Today we've got another bourbon hunting video brought to you from the state of Tennessee. So we're going to be checking out multiple stores within the state of Tennessee and see what best deals we can find while we're out there, what new kind of unique bottles that we don't have here in Ohio area, and to see what we come up with. We do end up coming home with two bottles this time, so stick to the end to see what bottles we pick up. All right, well, let's get right into it. first stop is at Peacock Wine and Spirits located in Sparta, Tennessee. Kind of your typical fare when you first walk in. You got your Four Roses, your Bullet, Maker's Mark. Did spot this Larceny and then we see this the Larceny a Barrel Proof sitting down there. Checked it out to see what was. $80, a little bit too much what I'm wanting to spend today. Did just pick up one so if you haven't seen that video go check out the video um, linked up above. Blue Nut Whiskey was another note or another whiskey that we haven't heard too much about. Not available here in Ohio but we see the uncut version and a little spoiler I do end up coming home with this bottle just not from the store. 121.8 proof for the this bottle. The bottle I end up coming home with is 120.6. Um, continuing to look, check out what well, we got more of your typical fare. You got your Woodford, your Wild Turkey, kind of just your typical run of the mill. And did spot the Chattanooga whiskey. Never really had that before. It's something new that's at, new to newer the shelves to kind of my area. Haven't really got to try it yet, um, but we do make a stock down at the distillery. They did have Buffalo Trace for a really inflated price, more than we wanted to spend, especially with that Blanton's there and each Taylor way inflated prices on this and that Weller Red, the antique, $249. I had to check and see if it was a store pick for some reason because thinking, okay, there's no way it can be that expensive. It was, it was just that expensive. Store also had a nice selection of store picks. So we see the Bullet as well as a Maker's Mark. And I think later we also see a Buffalo Trace store pick. Continuing on, we look a little bit more at what other offerings they have. They have the Willet sitting up there at the top. A lot of people not a fan of the Willet pot still. To be honest, I enjoy it. It's not my least favorite, not my absolute favorite, but not my least favorite that I've ever had. Also is all this Henry McKenna sitting up on the shelves. Nice to see that sitting on the shelf. A little bit more expensive and I have a bottle sitting at home, so we'll leave that for the next person. And a bottle I spotted and I wish I would have picked up because I don't end up seeing another cheaper one on this trip. But for $80, see this Elijah Craig barrel proof. End up being a 12 year, 121 proof whiskey. One I'm kicking myself for not picking up. Wish I would have picked this up when I saw it, but ah, better, better luck next time, I guess. Oh. Russell Reserve. I don't know why this one was $100, but I was like, there has to be a typo or something going on. But the most expensive bottle we saw for the Russells. Buffalo Trace, they had a cool little store pick. I do have a store pick currently at home and we did a recent video about the store pick versus the regular. Definitely check that one out. Behind the shelf, we have the Van Winkle Lot B, some Heaven Hill 20 year, birthday bourbon, Willet. Again, more of those really hard to reach, really hard to get bottles, but you're gonna pay a pretty fine to get some of these bottles. So, but really cool to see these bottles out in the, out in the wild. Sometimes you see these in the Ohio lottery, but not very often. The Woodford, it's a little bit more common, but never for that that expensive. Also some Russell's 13. Jefferson's, I'm not a big fan of the Jefferson's line. I don't know if you are, but let me know if you guys are. Toasted Barrel, one of my favorite bottles there, and the Barrel lineup. I definitely need to try some of these because I've never tried any of them. Let me know what you guys think. Are you guys a fan? The next stop on our trip was down to Bluegrass Wine and Spirits. This was right down the road in Sparta. Nice little selection behind the shelf. Uh, we saw the Elijah Craig 18 years, some Joseph Magnus Cigar Blend. Again, as I mentioned in the last video, a bottle I definitely want to try. There's that Angel's Envy Private Barrel for $150. Will it for $100? Will it pot still for $70? Just nothing I had to have sitting here on this shelf. Now I see this barrel proof, and again, now I'm really kicking myself for not picking up the last one. $120 is what they're asking for here at the store for the toasted barrel $100 just way more expensive than I want to spend for those two bottles now Luke is a big fan of this Breckenridge bourbon I totally recommend it if you guys haven't tried it it's a nice little offering from MGP and it's a great taste
And a lot better prices here, $50 for this 10 year. But again, I see it so much cheaper elsewhere. And honestly, I'm not the biggest fan of Brussels 10 year. Out here for the future, we did end up picking up one bottle at this store. However, it didn't record anymore. We ended up doing some tasting and some of the friendliest staff I've ever experienced at this store. So if you guys have ever in the Sparta area, I totally recommend checking out this store. But we did pick up the Blue Note Uncut Unfiltered that I talked about in the last store. I tried it, fell in love with it, really solid bottle. And for under 50 bucks, I totally recommend this bottle. Next stop was East Ridge Wine and Spirits. We checked out this location on the next day. If you look, when you first walk in, you're greeted by this store pick region. Um, you had to buy store picks to earn points or just buy bottles in general to earn points to be able to buy some of their more allocated bottles. But quick look at some of the bottles they had on the shelf. They definitely had some good heavy hitters sitting up here. I see the Traverse City sitting here. I've heard some good things about it. I haven't tried it myself. What do you guys think about it? Has, any of, has anyone tried it before? I keep seeing this Ryder Cup Elijah Craig Toasted Barrel. I haven't heard any much about it, but it looks like a cool bottle. Um, but 130, I think I'm just gonna stick to the regular Toasted Barrel I have sitting on the shelf now at home. Now right here, some bottles I don't know much about. I see them all the time, the Blue Run. I've heard good things, I've heard bad things. What do you guys think? Is this a bottle that I should check out or is there a spe specific expression I should try? Which one should I try first, guys? We got more Forgate up here. I've been seeing this a lot more recently and I like, the, I love the way the bottle looks. Just a little expensive for what I want to pick up today. I've also heard some great things for the RD1. I was specifically looking for the RD1 Amberana finish. Heard amazing things about that one from the Bourbon Junkies and it was a bottle I kept looking for the whole time. I also saw this High West Campfire. Something about the bottle just really caught my eye and if it tastes anything like a campfire, that marshmallowy kind of toffee, um, just those kind of flavors, those are some of the best flavors in whiskey for me. So I definitely wanna try that one here in the future. Some more Yellowstone and barrel selections. Saw this one, I've never seen this bottle before, so I had to check it out and see what it was all about. And then of course, we've got more of the barrel selection. Again, another bourbon I need to try out, but I need some suggestions. Which barrel, which bottle should I pick up first? Town Branch, now I tried this at my friend's wedding. Was not a fan of it at all. But you know us, we're huge fans of the Penelope. Had to check out the build on this Penelope. Don't remember exactly which one it is. Looks like it's build number five or six, but always great stuff from the Penelope lineup. This was pretty cool that they had the little tasting of the Whiskey Rose series. So if you've never tried the Whiskey Rose series, totally recommend picking up one of those. Now, as I mentioned, they do use a point system. I didn't take the time to ask how the point system works because I knew I wasn't gonna spend enough money to actually be able to buy one of these bottles, but it was pretty cool to see a lot of these bottles sitting up the shelf. Prices were not the worst that I've seen. However, I'm not sure exactly how many points you need to have. I mean, you can see the prices here, but not sure how those points equate to money spent or how all that works within the store, but still very cool to see all these bottles sitting on the shelf. The next stop and the final stop of our Tennessee trip is down to Chattanooga Whiskey. We stopped right down at the Experimental Distillery and nice small little gift shop when you first walk in. Very welcoming. There was a couple people there when we first got there. Um, they were allowing us to do tastings. They were saying that you could do one tasting when you first walk in. However, I was able to squeeze in two. Um, I tried, I think, the higher proof whiskey as well as the bottled and bond. Yeah, I tried this 111 here. Pretty good stuff, but out of all of them, my favorite was the Bottled and Bond. And for $52, I said, I'm gonna bring one of these back home to me into Ohio. All right guys, so that's the video. We had a fun little trip down to Tennessee and the first bottle we ended up getting was this Blue Note uh, Uncut Unfiltered bottle. $45 for this, a great bottle. If you guys have not tried it, Totally recommend it for under $50. I don't think you can go wrong with it. Second bottle of the trip is this Chattanooga whiskey, 100, 100 proof bottled and bond. It's great whiskey. It's a higher malt whiskey. Was not 
aware of that until I got home, but I think it tastes great. So if you guys see these bottles sitting on the shelf, I totally recommend. Thank you guys if you guys made it this far into the video. I greatly appreciate it. If you haven't already, we would greatly appreciate the subscribe. Uh, we've recently just hit 100 subscribers with the last video. The last bourbon hunt video was a great success, so we greatly appreciate you guys checking out the video. If you haven't already, we do post shorter form content on TikTok, Facebook, and Instagram, so make sure to check us out on those social media platforms as well. And we greatly appreciate it checking out, but we'll see you guys in the next one. Make sure you hang out for the next one because we got Atlanta and then we drive right back through Kentucky for the rest of the uh, bourbon trip. So thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one. Peace.